search they had the other day was driving down the road in the sound, rolling over, rolling over the ditch. Brother Gary, I was a huge truck. And they said, what happened? He said, I looked away for one second to grab my bottle of water. That's all it took. That's how close we are to eternity today. One second. All right, you guys want to come and do the penny marks this yeah. morning? Come on.
pick up the offering? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> okay. You guys want to give thanks for it this time? Yeah. You want me to? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have everybody stand. Everybody stand if you can, if you will. Harley Greasby said when you get your bill holes. You get your bill holes quicker that way, right? <laughs> Lord, we thank you for letting us be here today. For the good spirit that we feel, Lord, we ask you to bless this offering, Lord, that be used to uplifting in the kingdom. We pray you for all in Jesus' name. Amen. And as they come through, let's uh, um, come in and fellowship. Okay. What is it? 210? 10. Oh, okay. 10. Page 10. All right, girls, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go.
and the belief that we love this and we know we do. Live the life that we know to live. And for the Lord, we know to stand. Not let anything turn our head the other way. I know there's a song they sing. Don't let nobody bring you down. That's what we've got to do. We've got to hold on. Is it easy? Sometimes to do. No. Because we go through trials and tribulations. So as long as you got the Lord on your side, Sometimes I believe it's a little bit lighter and easier to go on through and stuff. But I'm just going to the Lord. I'm glad to consider myself one of those very fortunate to know what it means about a man that can take me or me. I know what kind of life I live. Have after I leave this world. I'm just glad to know about the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Baby. 
God for the mountain, and I thank Him for the valley. I thank Him for the storm He brought me through. If I never had a problem, I never know that God could solve them, and I never know that His faith in His word was true. So I sing through it all. Oh, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus, I learned to trust in God, oh, through it all, oh, through it all, I learned to depend upon His Word. I'm going to sing that line again, you know, why better day? Because through it all, we can go through anything. I thank God for the mountains, and I thank Him for the valley. I thank Him for the storm He brought me through. If I never had a problem, I never knew that God could solve them, and I never know that faith in His word was true. So I'm gonna sing through it all, oh, through it all. I learned to trust in God. Hallelujah! Woo! Through it all. Oh, through it all. I learned to depend upon this word. Through it all. Through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all. Oh, through it all, I learned to depend upon His Word. You might if I go off, good. If you know what I mean. I'm going to sing this song, and that's it's my favorite song, and it's in the hymn. Oh, me, sing grace, how sweet. Oh, let's see. Two things. 
My bad. I think I said that you could have seen what your mom. She ran right up there. Open. 
I know Brother Joey or Gary got to preach, but I don't know. It says in the Word of God, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that who shall ever believe it in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Everlasting life. Not just a little bit of life, but right. everlasting life. I may not have a lot of life here, but when I get home, I'm going to have everlasting life. Amen. Well, glory! Amen. Woo! You think I'm loud and crazy down here? <laughs> Wait till I get to my new home. Me and Sister Captain are tearing up. Well, glory! Jesus paid it all for me. Like that sister said. Well, oh, if you think he bought with me. He didn't have to shed innocent blood. He didn't have to die on the cross. He didn't have to go all the way to Calvary. But he did. Yes, he did. Oh, Jesus paid a lot of He paid an ultimate sacrifice. They beat him. They scorned him. He put a crown of thorns. And he was unrecognizable. But when he stretched up on the cross, one thing said, "My tongue does not fear God." And the other thing said, "Remember me in paradise." I believe when he when he died. I don't know about you, Brother Gary. I believe he went up to glory and said, "Oh wow, wow, what's going on here? I'm in my new home. I don't ache anymore." I don't hurt anymore. I, I don't feel any pain anymore. But when you get up to glory, you don't feel any dead stuff. Your heart doesn't give out. Well, glory to God. I just want to thank God today. He paid it all for me. He paid it all. We voted before you got here, sorry. I got the short stick. It's good to be here this morning. Glad the Lord. I thought we were trying to come back. Like someone's already said, it's, it's a lost world out there. You don't have to look too far and see how far gone that people have become. And, and, you know, we need to be the best witnesses that we can for them. And, uh, I'm for one, I, I'm not real good at, at reaching out and just talking to people about Jesus. I'm not talented that way. I know maybe you can say that I, I don't try hard enough, but I, I'm not real skilled at that. You know, other people are, but I do my best, Brother Dave, to always try to live and put my best foot forward in front of them. <coughs> and where I might have to can reach them with words, maybe you can, but we always need to be living our best life. Yes, amen. Man, like we saw this young man who was at our, one of our waiters, and he was such a confused individual. Hey man, and, I, and I know I go on about that stuff a lot, but, uh, but that's because somewhere the light has went out in his life. True. Hey man, yes. There wasn't a light shining somewhere for him to be consumed by Amen. these things. And that's what happened into this world, and, and that's not what I plan on going on about today. If God helps me, I'd like to encourage someone's heart this morning. Yes, man. Hey man, that's always been, like Brother Dave said, that's always my goal and my intention. My best, my favorite messages, I won't say my best <coughs> messages, but it's not to try to reach out to someone, Brother Dave, because I know that we're all in this together. Yes, amen. amen. All of us that's been washed by the blood of Christ. Amen. amen. You might call yourself a yes, Baptist. Yes, amen. Bless the Lord. You might call yourself a Pentecostal, but if once you've been washed by the precious blood of Jesus, amen. amen, the Bible says that they were first called Christians yeah. in Antioch. Amen. And why were they called that, brother? Because they were Christ-like. Amen. 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 We need to be like Christ. As we amen. Walk in this amen. Earth. Lord. amen. No matter what the world says, no yeah. matter what the world does, this has become unpopular. <laughs> You're going to be made fun of, friend. But just keep walking with the man. Yeah. Jesus told him, he said, you'll have to eat of my flesh. Amen. You're going to have to drink of my blood. 
Amen. I believe it was Jesus said Solomon and all of his glory was not arrayed like the lily of the valley. You can see the lily of the valley. Amen. John the Baptist said every mountain is going to be brought low and every valley is going to be exalted. Once you've got Christ in your life, you're on a level playing field because he bled and died for you. Amen. Just like he did for you. Yes, he did. Amen. I'm thankful to be here this morning. Hey man, I thought it's my water. <laughs> Last night we're on our way home, and we didn't know if we were going to make it all the way. <coughs> we were kind of debating whether we were going to drive through or stay. You know, and, uh, and as I lay there I was trying to get a nap or whatever from the drive, Kim was driving, and I thought just a couple little verses come to me, brother David. And maybe I'll just read them. And if God don't do nothing about it, then I'll just go on about my way. But, on, but I thought we need to be encouraged sometimes, don't we? Amen. We preach about sin, amen, and salvation. But sometimes the church, amen, you get weak, amen. You're, I, I'm never going to be one to be too hard on the church, amen. Mm -hmm. You're trying to walk this, this way. I always hear about how great and how wonderful they were back 40 years ago. But you weren't dealing with the things 40 years ago amen. that the young 16-year-old is dealing with today. Amen. You weren't going to school where the teacher was telling you all oh, the kind of filth and the lies and the perversion. Amen. The church is going through a struggle. Amen. But we can keep our eyes on Christ amen, and see through the storm. Amen. He's coming back for a people that's yep, made themselves ready. Amen. Thank God. You might be discouraged today. Amen. But I'd like to tell you to be like Daniel and keep on holding on. Amen. He had a prayer, Brother Dave, that went That's out Lord. and he prayed it looked like for 21 days. And I believe there was some fasting yeah. going on. Yeah. Daniel no doubt almost got in despair. But when the angel called to him, yeah. he said, we heard you yeah. the very yeah. first yeah. time. Yeah. Your yeah. prayer yeah. was heard, friend. Yeah. Yeah. And I might not read all these scriptures, but I'd That's still like to tell you.
Send that one spirit! Amen. 
Hallelujah. And bless you. Lord. But God moves upon your body and you lay your hand upon him and thank God healing can come to us. Faith is when the man that has no money and God when he trusts in God that his bills might be paid. Amen. But more than that, faith is the man that believes in Jesus when the whole world would yes, cast him aside. Yeah. And they say, I'll take that narrow way. Thank God. We need faith in our lives. Amen. Amen. Lord bless you. Come on. No doubt, Zacchaeus was impacted with faith. Bless him, Lord. This day, which was the chief among the publicans. <clears throat> and he was rich. Amen. We go on about the rich man. Amen. There's some folks, your riches will stand in your way. Amen. The one man was rich. And he said, what must I do to enter into the kingdom of heaven? Amen. Way. He said, I've, I've, you know the commandments. And he began to name them off to him. <laughs> he said, all these have I done from my youth. Yeah. Amen. Jesus said, take all you have. You amen. Right. And give it away. And come and follow oh, me. Yeah. Thank God. And he's had great, great treasures, great yeah. riches. And he went away sorrowful. Yeah, yeah. Amen. His yeah. riches was standing in his way. Yes, amen. But now Zacchaeus, you're going to read here. Amen. The Lord never told him to give away one penny. Amen. There's different things that you and I, maybe you, maybe we can't, they do go stand between us and God. That's right. Amen. That's but this right. man, Zacchaeus, was rich. Amen. And he sought to see Jesus who he was. Do you have a desire to see Jesus in a deeper fashion? Amen. Amen. Is there something about you that cries out to want a little bit more of God into your life? Amen. 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 Just set your faith in your heart upon him and he can reveal, reveal himself to you. He can reveal his will, thank God, unto us. Bless the Lord. Come on, brother. And he sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree <laughs> to see him, for he was to pass that way. Yes, amen. amen. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, <laughs> for today I must abide at thy house. Amen. amen. That has always had a great impression upon me. Amen. No doubt there was no physical way of Jesus knowing Amen. What Zacchaeus was fixing to do, other than the fact that he was Jesus. Yep, amen. amen. But that's always stood out to me. How that when he got up there and he looked up, Jesus knew Zacchaeus was in that tree all the while. And he told him, make haste and come down here. What I'm trying to tell you is Jesus knows exactly what you're going to do for you. Right, right. He bled and died for you. He loves you. He'll do all that he can, amen, to try to help you along this way. If you feel like a sparrow today, alone upon a housetop, know that Christ loves you. Amen. If you're bearing a burden this morning, thank God he'll bear it with us. Yes, he amen. will. He loves us. That's really all I had for us. Amen. Good preaching. But I thought God can have something in our lives. Amen. amen. He can give us that that we need. Amen. To make it. He sees what you're going through. He knows your struggles. I'm, I'm glad that I'm one of his. And then I thought, like I said, we went out there and we see all kinds of people, amen, in this world. I mean, some of them was talking to themselves in crazy manners. I mean, maybe it was by the nature of where we were at. I mean, some of them all mixed up. Men don't know the difference between how the, they're a man and a woman, and I hate to keep going on about that. But that's what happens when Christ gets out of people's lives. Yeah, but I'm glad that we can have him in our life. Amen. Amen. We can have a light that will shine. Amen. Jesus said that no one lights a candle and sets it under a bushel and hides it. He said, but let your light so shine before men. Amen. We need to be like not a candlestick. But that takes place in how I live my life. Amen. I don't know if you want to have yeah, altar call. Or... Yeah. You know, I, don't, I can't add nothing to this. But I love the part where it said, Brother Gary, that when he came down, he came down joyfully. Amen.